Good evening, sisters and brothers. Please join me to pray the Regina Celli. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia, for him whom you were made worthy to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has deigned to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, mother, His Mother, we may attain the joys of eternal life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, sisters and brothers, we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter and the Divine Mercy Sunday. Please join us in the celebration as we offer before the Lord all our intentions and prayers. Those who would join us in this live streaming celebration of the Holy Eucharist and our presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Father Jamil Albert OFM. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing alleluia. Now his people dance for joy, O oh, come before. glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound sing a new song unto the Lord let your song be sung from mountains high sing a new song unto the Lord singing alleluia in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we hear the story of Thomas. Like Thomas, may the Lord open our eyes to the power of the resurrection and transform our doubts and fears into confident faith and boundless joy. My friends, today is Divine Mercy Sunday. Promoted by Sister Faustina, this devotion is a perennial invitation for us to face with confidence in divine goodness the difficulties and trials of the present and the future. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our shortcomings and our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries more worthily. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of, of good will. will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we, we bless you, you we, we adore you, you we glorify you, you we, give we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, 
O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, Son of the, of the Father, Father, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You, you are seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father, have, have mercy on us. For you, For you alone are the Holy One, One. You, you alone are the Lord, Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, High Jesus Christ. Christ. With, With the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, the in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. In praise we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to prayers. All came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed together and had all things in common, they would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day, they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The Word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has been, been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God 
are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more preciously than gold, that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o, Lord. o Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said, had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Dedemus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, 
and do not be unbelieving but believe Thomas answered and said to him my lord and my god Jesus said to him have you come to believe because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and have believed now Jesus did many other signs in their presence of his disciples that are not written in this book but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ the son of God and that through this belief you may have life in his name The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the Divine Mercy Sunday. It is the celebration of God's mercy, God's compassion, and God's love. shown through the person of Jesus to all the generations of humanity same is the theme running throughout the readings with the depth of faith faith in god's mercy and compassion in the passage from the acts of the apostles my friends we hear about the response of those who heard and believed in peter's pentecost proclamation the first christians take their gift of faith and live their lives differently they devote themselves to the way of christ by following four distinct ways they listen to the teachings of the apostle they share their possessions with one another they come together to give thanks by breaking bread in memory of Jesus their lord and they spend time in prayer my dear brothers and sisters each of these four activities deepens their relationship with the risen lord and his father in the unity of the holy spirit in listening to the teachings of the apostles my friends the early christians show the importance of christian tradition the apostles the apostles had spent a lot of time with jesus during his public ministry jesus had shared his special insights with them they had not shared those he had not shared with the crowds after receiving the holy spirit on pentecost the apostles now reflect with new wisdom upon the life ministry teaching death and resurrection of jesus now the apostles had da- hand down these life giving ex- experiences particularly to those who had not experienced the lord jesus as closely as the apostles did the faith of the early believers is based upon the faith of the apostles faith leads to more people believing faith is not a stat- statistic thing between a believer and god it is an active process which spreads out to others the sharing of possessions with one another was another manifestation of the early christians as they respond to jesus and his invitation to call god their father they did realize they are brothers and sisters of jesus and they need to care for each other as sisters and brothers faith leads to true community being one with faith is not just a personal my dear brothers and sisters relationship with jesus it is a relationship with others who come together in the name of jesus the lord part of the way the early christians mark their unity is in the breaking of the bread celebration of the holy communion they gather for a meal in which they remember celebrate and believe what jesus did at the last supper they reenact and mar- 
make present Jesus words over the broken bread and they experience their master and their risen Lord in the breaking of the bread they receive their Lord and are in communion with Jesus and through him with one another finally the fourth way the early Christians leave out was their belief in constant prayer they devote themselves to being in relationship with Jesus the Father and the Holy Spirit they praise God for sending Jesus as their Lord and Savior and they openly admit their failings and their need for Jesus as Savior they give thanks to God for what God has done is doing and will continue to do on their behalf and they petition God for their own needs and the needs of others therefore prayer is an important part of the Christian life and faith relationship with Jesus my dear brothers and sisters today's gospel can easily be divided into two parts the first part from the verse 19 to 23 which describes how Jesus entrusted to the apostles his mission of preaching the good news of God's love mercy forgiveness and salvation this portion of the reading teaches us that Jesus uses the church the body of Christ as the earthly means of continuing his divine mission it also teaches us that the church needs Jesus at its head and source of power and authority and that it becomes Christ's true messenger only when it perfectly loves and obeys him the risen Lord gives the apostles the authority to forgive sins in his name together with the power of imparting God's mercy to the sinners through the gift of forgiving sins from God's treasury of mercy in the liturgy the church has proclaimed the mercy of God for centuries through the word of God and the celebration of the sacraments especially the sacrament of penance and the Eucharist gospel text also reminds us that the clearest way of expressing our belief in the presence of the risen Lord among us is through our own forgiveness of others we cannot form a lasting Christian community without forgiving one another the second part of the gospel my dear brothers and sisters from verse 24 to 29 presents the fearless apostle Saint Thomas normally known as doubting Thomas in his uncompromising honesty demanding a personal vision of and physical contact with the risen Jesus as a condition for his belief Thomas had not been with the apostles when Jesus first appeared to them as a result he refused to believe this should serve as a warning to us all it is difficult for us to believe when we do not strengthen ourselves with the fellowship with the fellowship of the believing community the body of Christ being one with the church when the Lord appeared to Thomas later he said blessed are those who have not seen but have believed my friends Thomas was able to overcome his doubts by seeing the risen Lord but we the modern day Christians who are no longer able to see Jesus in person with our naked eyes but must believe what we hear and see in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist my dear brothers and sisters the unique profession of faith Thomas the doubting apostle makes the great profession of faith my Lord and my God here the, mo here the most outrageous doubter of the res resurrection of Jesus utters the greatest confession of belief in the Lord who rose from the dead my dear brothers and sisters this declaration by the doubting Thomas in today's gospel is very significant for two reasons it is the foundation of our Christian faith our faith is based on the divinity of Jesus as demonstrated in his miracles 
especially by the supreme miracle of all times, his resurrection. Thomas' profession of faith is the strongest evidence we have of the resurrection of Jesus. Thomas, second, Thomas' faith culminated in his self-surrender to Jesus, his missionary life, and his fearless preaching and the powerful testimony given by his own martyrdom. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to draw something for our own lives on this Divine Mercy Sunday, let us accept God's invitation to celebrate and practice mercy. One way the Church celebrates God's mercy throughout the year is through the sacrament of reconciliation. Quote unquote, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. So we see that all of us are to be reconcilers and mediators, becoming channels to one another of the risen Lord's peace and forgiveness, finding time for adoration of the blessed sacrament is, is another good way to receive divine mercy. The gospel command, be merciful just as your father is merciful, of course, requires that we show mercy to our fellow human beings always and everywhere. We radiate God's mercy to others by our corporal and spiritual works of mercy, by our kind and supportive words, and by our prayers for all our dear and near ones. The second thing, let us ask God for the faith that culminates in our self-surrender to Him and leads us to serve those we encounter with love. My dear brothers and sisters, living faith enables us to see the risen Lord in every, everyone and gives us the willingness to render to each one our loving service. My dear brothers and sisters, it was this faith in the Lord and obedience to his missionary command that prompted St. Thomas to travel to India, Pakistan and other regions to preach the gospel among the Hindus, Muslims, and to establish seven Christian communities, eventually to suffer martyrdom. The fathers of the church prescribe the following tradition means to grow in the living and dynamic faith of St. Thomas the Apostle. Therefore, we must come to know Jesus personally and intimately by our daily and meditative reading of the sacred scripture. We must strengthen our faith by the power of the Holy Spirit through our personal and communal prayers. We must share in the divine life of Jesus by frequenting the sacraments of reconciliation and the Holy Eucharist. St. Teresa of Calcutta presents it this way by saying, if we pray, we will believe. If we believe, we will love. If we love, we will serve. Only then, my dear brothers and sisters, we can put our love of God into action. Let us all together, my friends, recite the profession of our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen.
Let us turn to the Father and plunge into his loving mercy that is greater than sin, evil, suffering and death. In Jesus, we have victory, salvation and eternal life. We give thanks to the Father as we say, Father, we trust in you. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in, you. in you. For the leaders of the church, that believing and experiencing the Lord's infinite mercy, they may always proclaim it to God's people. We pray. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in, in you. For our local and national leaders, that, like the apostles, they may attain to the needs of our communities and to work for peace, unity, and progress. We pray. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in, in you. For those who, like Thomas, lived in doubt and fear that the peace and forgiveness of the risen Christ may strengthen them to face life's challenges and difficulties, we pray to the Lord. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in you. you. For all of us gathered here that immersed in the ocean of divine mercy, we may live as ministers of the Lord's peace and reconciliation, we pray. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in, in you. Let us now pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, Father we, we trust, trust in you. God our Father, in Jesus you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return. Entrust our lives to your love and mercy and serve you in our brothers and sisters through this, through, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray my brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your holy name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers, sisters, and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one gl all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our the Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us share the sign of peace with one another. Peace be to Peace you. With you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ may preserve us for eternal life. Amen. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. great. 
grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieve. How precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already gone. This grace hath brought me safe thus far. And grace will lead me home. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and our hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly kneel for the special blessing on this Divine Mercy Sunday and join in receiving the blessing of the love and mercy of God. Till we meet again By his counsels guide uphold you With his sheep securely fold you God be with you till we meet again Till we meet Till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet, till we meet, till we meet, God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. Neath his wings protecting hide you. Daily mana still provide you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet. Till we meet. At Jesus' feet, till we meet, till we meet, God be with you till we meet again. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, and may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let's go and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Oh, 